Hello there, Breakfast Club. You have found yourself at Breakfast at Tracy's this Thursday. Welcome. A uh, special welcome to those of you who are brand new. My name is Tracy and Breakfast is a production of Nanaimo Alliance Church in Nanaimo, British Columbia, Canada. I have to say Canada because we do have international viewers. Hi, international viewers. Say hello to our international viewers there, Andrea. Hi, international viewers. We have been looking at the kingdom. This is a huge topic and it is going to take us many weeks to just get a good overview of this because in a sense, the kingdom is the whole point. The kingdom is the reason you have a Bible. The kingdom is the reason there is a cross and resurrection. You were made for the kingdom. This was God's plan all along. The kingdom is what he rescued us to. And we are looking at some of the promises made about this kingdom in the Bible. Here is a great saying from Jesus about the kingdom. Listen to this. Seek the kingdom of God above all else, and he will give you everything you need. So don't be afraid, little flock, for it gives your father great happiness to give you the kingdom. I'll be honest, sometimes when I read the Bible, I see God's absolute frustration with us human beings. It seems that no matter what he does, we don't listen. No matter what he tells us to do, we want to do the opposite. No matter how he tries to comfort us, we brush it off. We are impudent children sometimes, telling God we are mad that he doesn't do enough about evil. And then when he steps in to do something about evil, we tell him to back off and leave us alone and that he went too far. Unpleasable, the lot of us. You can see even Jesus getting frustrated sometimes. How long must, uh, must I put up with you, he asks. Hey, I get it. People frustrate me too. I mean, I frustrate myself. It makes me wonder if God should just try Earth 2.0 or something. Maybe a flood where no one survives this time. While we do see God's honest frustration with us humans, and who could blame him, we also see things like this. You know, I get that the kingdom is going to be great for us. I get that everything we absolutely hunger for right now into our souls will only be satisfied then and there. I get that we will not fully be ourselves until we see the kingdom come in power. I get that it is good for us. I do. But what is shocking about what Jesus said here is that it is also good for God. It gives God great happiness happiness to give you the kingdom jesus says say what now yeah it gives god great happiness to give you the kingdom breakfast club slow cook that one for a while it makes god happy giddy delighted celebrative to give you notice not just to just enter the kingdom but to give you, hand over the kingdom. That bit we'll look at more closely later, but just notice the language here. He wants you there. It makes him happy that you came. At a time when so many followers of Jesus are so scared of being tricked out of the kingdom by accidentally getting the mark of the beast or committing the unpardonable sin, here is Jesus assuring us, assuring us that God wants us there. That should be calming, reassuring, and quite frankly, touching. For no reason other than he's absolutely 100% crazy about you, 
God wants you in the kingdom. Chew this breakfast slowly, my friends. It gives God great happiness to give the kingdom to you. Let's pray. Our Father, we cannot comprehend your love. I mean, really. Even the word love has been shallowed in our culture. Help us to see your heart, a heart that beats for us broken, rebellious, and wayward creatures. Thank you that you delight in giving us the kingdom, that you want nothing more than to see our names in the book of life and to open your arms wide to welcome us. You are our amazing God. Thank you for showing mercy to us, your children. Amen. Well, I hope this has been helpful for you, Breakfast Club. I hope it's been encouraging for you. And I will see you again tomorrow where we look at now, but not yet. We'll see you then. Take care.